What's up, Sens fans? My name is Jordan Mady, and this is an SFT Game Reaction. Remember when I said, Clark MacArthur, that guy just does his thing. Well, he was back at it tonight in the second period when he scored his seventh goal in 12 games. As Gord Miller pointed out during the broadcast, he was on pace for 47 goals at that point. Unless something catastrophic happens like an injury between now and the end of the season, 30 goals is not unrealistic for the 29 year old. After it was confirmed yesterday that Curtis Lazar was staying in town, he made an immediate impact tonight. But as many have said, including Paul McLean, he's been consistent since game one. Pierre McGuire said on TSN 1200 that he sees the 19 year old becoming a big time dynamic scorer in four to five years. Lazar won 70% of his face offs and won 75% of his offensive zone draws, one of which was key to Mike Hoffman's second goal of the game. Considering all this positivity, will the team let him participate in the World Junior Championship? I say no because he'll be valuable as the team tries to make the playoffs and experience in that process at the NHL level trumps another trip to the World Juniors. Craig Anderson made 35 saves for the shutout. He's been phenomenal. So has Leonard. I'm not sure how long they'll be able to keep up this success considering the team relies so heavily on their netminders, but they're 7-3-2 which keeps them among the top teams in the East going into a busy weekend starting with the Winnipeg Jets on Saturday and finishing off with the rescheduled game against the Maple Leafs on Sunday. That's it for tonight's SFT. Thank you for watching. My name is Jordan Mady for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay right, Sense fans.